Hey guys, we're back with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be working on these pretty 5 inch coasters. And really they're pretty simple, but the purpose is to show you how I saved um, by layering glitter. They do take quite a bit of epoxy, so we need to save a little bit somewhere. <laughs> um, but let's get started. So first I have my a little extra ink epoxy here. I'm going to pour uh, Nookie from Peachy Olive into my epoxy. Now I use a like a true white glitter. Um, this is a opal white and it doesn't have a tint to it. It's best to use one that does not have a tint if you're going to use a colored decal. Um, so it will the colors will really pop and they'll show through. Now this particular mold that I'm using takes 100 milliliters of epoxy. I only have about 20 mixed in this cup here. And if you are using a finer glitter, this is a fine XL. If you're using a finer glitter, I don't feel like you would need quite as much for this first layer. But we are just gonna mix just enough to cover the bottom of this mold and just go all the way to each of the corners. Now, I know that using any source of heat on your molds is extremely frowned upon. So, if you are not already using a heat gun or a torch on your molds, please, please do not do this. Please just spritz it with alcohol and that will take care of any bubbles that may rise to the surface. I started out using a torch not knowing that there was it was ever a no-no. <laughs> um, and I've never had any problems with it. So I have just continued to do so. But spritzing with alcohol will also give you the same effect. It will take care of any bubbles that rise to the surface. So I have added in Winter Dream from Unicorn Dust Micas. It is a super sparkly white mica. And I'm also adding in some white acrylic paint. This is going to, of course, make, the, make it shimmer on the sides. You can just use white acrylic if you'd like or any kind of additive to turn it a white or whatever color that you were using. The brighter that you make this or the less opaque it is, the bolder your decal is going to be whenever you put it on the top. So definitely keep that in mind. Once we have this all mixed together really well, I'm just going to pour it on top of the existing glitter in there all the way up to the rim so it does not get any sort of edge. And typically I try to like dome it ever so slightly um, because it does tend to um, shrink as it dries. So I don't want those sharp edges around my mold whenever I remove it. And once again, we're just gonna remove these bubbles that rise to the top and allow this to dry overnight is typically what I do or if you started it early morning it should be ready by the afternoon if you're using ALE to take it out of the mold and as you can see this mold is not very shiny but the coaster result um, using a little extra ink epoxy is still like mega shine amazing I have a book here of my clear cast decals from gracefully created i'm just gonna pick one of these and show you guys how i apply it to the coaster i absolutely love every clear cast decal that i have ever got from gracefully created um you do not have to trim them they come perfect and you can take them straight off the sticker and apply them to your tumblers or any other crafts that you may be using them for and then once you put epoxy on top, you will never see the rim or the edge of the decal. But I handle them a lot. Um, I'm afraid that maybe dust may get under the edges or just from moving them around with, you know, glitter or micas on my hand, it may show around the edge. So I know for sure that nothing that I have done will cause it to show once it is under epoxy. So. After I trim the edge of mine, I will pull the decal up ever so slightly and cut a little strip off of the side. This is so I can place it and I'm not putting my fingers all over the back of this. It is 
tacky <laughs> because it, it has the adhesive on the back just like a regular vinyl. So since it's clear, if you put your fingerprints on the back, you will definitely be able to see that. So you have to be extra careful with them. Push that side down once you get it aligned where you like and then just very slowly run your fingers or if you have a little squeegee tool run that across pressing the decal down to the surface and while removing the back this just ensures that you are pushing every last bit of this decal down there's not any bubbles that are underneath and they will not show once it is under epoxy if you do happen to get any bubbles underneath your decal, you can just take a craft knife, poke a tiny little hole in your decal, and then press down, and it will push any air that's in that bubble out. So after I apply the decal, I'm going to apply the cork to the back of this. I also got these from Amazon, and as you can see, it has the adhesive on the back, which is really convenient. Um, I will also link these down below with all of my other supplies. I just line it up on the back and press that down. Now you can definitely wait until the very last step to put the cork on the back. This is just how I do it. It doesn't matter at what point as long as the mold itself or the coaster itself is dry. You can put it on any time after that. So I have a very large cup of a little extra epoxy here. I was also working on some tumblers after this video, um, but as you can see, I just poured a very, very small amount, probably just a couple milliliters of epoxy onto the coaster. I'm just pulling this to the edge very slightly. I don't want to pull it over the edge because that will definitely cause a mess. Um, it's really hard to get that off of the sides and to prevent it to continue to run over once it has went over the first time. So I'm going around in swirling motions. That's just what works for me and pulling it around the edge and even it out in the middle. I'm just going to run my mini torch over this once again to get any bubbles that may rise to the surface and allow this to cure for the typical 72 hours before handing it over to my customers. And there you have it. This is the completed um, five inch coaster. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. All supplies that I use are in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment if you love the video or if you have any questions. And that is all for now. Thanks for watching.